I'm Joe Berenger, and we are here to discuss and tell you about liturgical ministry here at St. Bridget's. We thought by telling you just a little bit of our story, um, you might find how you can plug in and be more fully participating in the liturgy. My family and I have been here for 30 years, and uh, we came here we, we didn't, we were looking for a parish, we were looking for a church, and somehow we just landed here, and we were so welcomed and felt so at home here. So I'm 20 now, and I've grown up in the church my whole life, uh, starting in the faith formation as a as a kid, and then being an altar server, an EM, and now a lector, where I found my home. And I think it's very important that our parents, and uh, especially our young parents, involve their, their kids in faith formation, and starting off with easier ministries that the kids can get involved with, kids really build a a group, uh, a family, and a and a friendship with those around you, and stay in touch with those your age that share the same religion, regardless if we're in different area codes or different schools. Uh, you build a a family here at Saint Bridget, uh, which we've always done. We were going to Christ the King, and uh, Father John Cunningham came down to uh, give mass every once in a while. We had just started Saint Bridget. He proclaimed the gospel from uh, memory, and so it kind of gave us the idea there's something special at St. Bridget. I was actually away from the Catholic Church for, do I get emotional about this? <sighs> for about 10 years, and it was right before the pandemic that brought me back to um, church. And it was St. Bridget's um, that I just happened to stumble across, and it was I felt like I was at home, um, the community and the connection, and I can't speak enough about just wanting to be part of. It's a great way to meet people. It's a great way to be involved and feel like part of the parish. I really enjoy singing. Our family has all these songs, so I joined, and um, as I became uh, involved in song leading, I was really nervous at first, but uh, now with Mark, Mellis as our uh, music director. He's been teaching us all about the liturgy and how our music fits in. It's really wonderful. And I would really uh, encourage anyone with interest in music to get involved because it's such a fulfilling uh, ministry. Uh, and I um, have been doing homebound ministry as speak about bringing communion into the community that cannot join us on Sunday. Um, um, I started out 30 years ago when my daughter was a baby doing the laundry, doing the the altar cloths and such, you know, and that's something so easy that you can do from home and still feel like you're taking part. Mm -hmm. So right now um, I'm sacristan and a Eucharistic minister. Um, the sacristan is a little bit more involved. It's kind of like the orchestrator of the whole mass. And so there's a little bit more pieces involved in that, but you can start as a Eucharistic minister. Anyone can do it. You touch everyone. Every single person in this parish gets touched by a Eucharistic minister every single time they come to Mass. And to me, if you don't, you know, if you don't, can't commit a lot of time, it's, it's time you're already here. And it's a wonderful way to share that with the whole parish. I remember hearing the calling and I went to um, Monica and I said, you know, I believe that those that are qualified are not necessarily those that are called, but God qualifies the calling, you know, that I may not be the best person, but there's a need. And, and, you know, I, I said to her, you know, I have a vehicle and I have the gift of gab and I can do it. <laughs> and I thought the gift of gab was what you needed, but actually it was a gift of hearing, you know, that to go in there and listen and, and see what the need is and to pay attention. But to listen. And, uh, the more you get involved, uh, the safer you feel uh, at St. Bridget. And even if you mess up, it, everyone's a family member here. And uh, you just build build a home. Now, on Wednesday nights, we have centering prayer, uh, a very simple prayer format that I wouldn't have known about had, had I not been here at St. Bridget. It's, it's a wonderful, another example of welcoming and learning and experiencing our faith that, that uh that isn't just the, the routine, you might say. So I'd also encourage uh, taking a look at that centering prayer uh, option as a way to just get involved and, and be here, uh, not just on Sundays. So. Um, with that, I'd say the invitation is there for all of us to find the ministry that suits us well and to be part of the full, active participation in our parish.